it has now come to that time to build this. That is where I'm now starting. Um, I've been doing a lot of planning on this. A lot of looking online at what they look like. And I'm about to make a start on it. So I'll bring you back when I've started. Wish me luck. This is what I've come up with so far. Still loads for me to do. Loads. This is just the beginning. But that's where I'm at at the minute. Um, starting to get all the measurements. lot of manipulating and shaping to do. I'm going to uh, probably more than likely build this as one piece out of the car and just keep test fitting it as I go along until I'm happy and then I can cut it into place. But yeah, so far so good. It'd be nice when I do start seeing some nice metal like this going in there instead of a great big whacking hole in the engine bay. This is the piece that I'm growing off. Yeah. I'll get back to that and I'll see you in a bit. That's it so far. I have started beating in the round piece, shaping all the edges on there. Starting to get the shape. With the lip going all the way across over the top. Uh, I um, will test the air box on it before it goes, you know, before I start welding it all in because I've got to cut the holes in the square piece, make a lip around the edge of that as well. But I just wanted to show you how far I'm getting. That's what I've done so far. That's perfectly shaped. I've had to use my uh, small hammer and beat the corners in so it's completely round. So, brilliant. I'll get back to you when I've done some more. This is where I'm at so far. I've uh, took my box apart because it's got to be done anyway. There's the holes. There's the hole I've done. I've even managed to make the lip. So, if I put this, put it on there, go straight into the hole perfectly, and then the gasket will go underneath there, obviously. So that is where I'm at at the moment. I've even managed to shape it, I'm starting to shape the front of it, and then it fits in there perfectly. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I've now got to do the square one. And obviously, I'm going to build this out of the car, I'm not going to mould it in yet. So, yeah, it's looking good. It even lines up perfectly in there. It's taking a while, obviously, because there's a lot of stuff involved. There's also got to be a square indent there. Well, somewhere in the middle here. So, I'll get back to you when I've done a bit more. Just wanted to show you that I've built an exact replica. Underneath there is all new. Once I unclip this old one, it'll be exactly the same. I've even managed to make the lips. But the heater box sits on. <coughs> I sat it, the heater box on it, and it fits perfectly. And this is where the gasket goes on top of the, inside the lip there. And then it sits on top of it. So, if I unclip this, an exact replica. That will have a piece of metal put in there. Because I have to do that to make the shape. If you look, it's exactly the same. Even the bolt holes in the crack spot. Perfect, look. I've just got one more hole to do here. Which I've got the other gasket here for test purposes. 
put that on top of there and then you've got the exact replica that took a lot of work and then obviously this will go round there and then I've got the second bit to build up there but I'm done for today Let me know what you think. I want to start again tomorrow. So that's it for today. Please like and subscribe and I'll continue on tomorrow. This is just a video to show you what I'm doing so far. Still loads of work. Uh, thank you for watching.